Hola everyone, welcome to one more video. Today I'm gonna to be telling you the different uses of the word que. I know that a lot of you are a bit confused to understand when and where to use it and since it has so many different meanings, but today I'm gonna to tell you all about it so you don't get confused anymore. So come with me. For many of you, uh, this might be your first time here in my channel. My name is Mia and I'm the founder of Mia Jmarish Academy and this is my YouTube channel where I post frequently to speak about Portuguese and Portugal. So if you're interested, don't forget to subscribe and the notification bell so you can receive uh, notifications every time I post a new video. Also, don't forget to leave a like in this video and in any other videos you might like. Okay, so now let's dive in into this complicated uh, word, que. Uh, many of you were asking me uh, when and where to use it and I'm here to tell you all about it. So, as you may know, the word que has many different uh, functions in Portuguese and can be used in many different places. For example, the first uh, thing is it can work as an inter interrogative pronoun. I, I hope I'm saying this right, interrogative pronoun. So when you ask a question, for example, if you ask O que estás a fazer? O que? So this que is part of this interrogative uh, form, o que, and that means what. It can also be used as a conjunction to connect two sentences. Uh, for example, if you say, um, if you're making a comparison between things, you can say that uh, uh, o porto é maior do que uh, Coimbra, for example. Porto is bigger than Coimbra. So here, do que is going to be the equivalent in English to than. O porto é maior do que Coimbra. Uh, many times we even leave the do part out and we just say o porto é maior que Coimbra. So there you go, you have another que there with a different meaning. So when you're comparing things. Another way to use que is when we have a relative sentence, which means like uh, in sentences where you want to add something about something. Don't, don't panic, I'll, I'm gonna tell you. So if you want to say something like the car that I bought, so this part that I bought is gonna be uh, re relative to the car, right? So when you want to add an extra information to that, uh, that noun there, the car that I bought or the person that I saw, in English, you can say who sometimes, you can say that sometimes, but in Portuguese, this is gonna be translated as que, and we're gonna say o carro que eu comprei, o carro que eu comprei, so the car that I bought, and we're gonna say a pessoa que eu vi, the person that I saw. So we're gonna use it uh, like that as a relative pronoun and you're gonna see this in so many, 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 many places. So you have all of these uh, functions of the, the um, this word que. You just need to really pay attention what is the meaning of what you are saying, what's the context, okay? And then you're gonna understand um, when and how to use it. But I'm not over yet, so if, you're stay, if you've stayed until now, well done. I hope you're understanding this. Um, but another way we are using it is when we want to say how beautiful or how sweet. You can say que bonito, uh, que querido, okay? So it's when we are, it's more or less like an interjection and we are using it to speak about things that kind of surprise us in a good or in a bad way. You can also say how unpleasant, que desagradável, for example, or how rude, que rude, or que mal educado, for example, okay? So it kind of surprises us and we want to say a kind of an interjection so we can say this que, it's this how, how rude, how nice, how sweet, etc. Okay, so um, we have all of these forms of the word que and all of these functions and I'm just gonna uh, sum up for you. So number one we saw was que 
as an inter interrogative pronoun in sentences like o que queres, what do you want? And this then is going to be translated as what. Then we have que as um, a conjunction to put two things, two sentences together. Uh, for example, when you compare things, o Porto é maior do que Coimbra or o Porto é maior que Coimbra. Don't forget that when native speakers are speaking fast, they even take it, uh, take the do part and we just say que. Okay, so that's the second function. The third function is as a relative pronoun when we want to uh, define the, the noun that we spoke about. We want to say something in relation to that noun or relative to that noun. So, for example, when we say the man that I saw, o homem que eu vi, Okay, it's not any man, it's the man that I saw. So this that I saw is uh, relative to the man and I'm kind of uh, defining which man. So, o homem que eu vi, the man that I saw, okay? Um, and, okay, and then the fourth thing I talk about was when, um, when we are kind of like surprised about something and we use it as an interjection to say how beautiful, how nice, how unpleasant, how sweet. So we're gonna say que giro, que bonito, que querido, okay? So however we feel at the moment, okay? So those are four ways to use the, the word que. If you know any more ways, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, I'm here to answer you. Please again, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. This really, really helps me know that you like the content I am uh, making and that I'm posting weekly. And yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I see you in the next one. Beijinhos!